So fall quarter, um, 2011, I took a class, um, an education class called Practicum for Individual Differences, and we learned about, we learned a tutoring technique which was used for students who were very behind in school. Um, and we were put into classrooms um, where we could use these tutoring skills to bring the students who were very behind um, up to par with the rest of the classroom. Um, I was put into a first grade classroom, which I was extremely excited about, as I had two twin six-year-old cousins um, who I just loved to play with and just love on, and um, also a nine-year-old niece who, from the age of 16, I'd just taken her um, under my wing, playing with her, um, talking with her, you know, spinning her around. And so when I got into this classroom of six-year-olds, um, I just developed this love for them that I really didn't expect. Um, I would go into the classroom two days a week for three hours and just sit down with the kids one-on-one, -on -one, ask them how they're doing, um, tell them my, how my week was, and then begin to ask them questions um, and begin to help them read. It was extremely difficult to see um, the kids very behind in reading, pronouncing easy words, and just mixing up easy consonant sounds, but um, eventually I, um, yeah, developed this love for them after being there for them, after caring for them for so many weeks, um, and it just was a very beautiful thing, and it was something that I didn't expect at all. Um, I went into the classroom not knowing these kids at all, and... I would only have a certain amount of, only nine weeks with them, and over that time, I just had such a deep, deep care for these kids. I really wanted them to uh, just improve in their abilities and uh, improve just as little kids who um, need to be loved and need to just be able to achieve what they want to achieve. Um, and so the culmination of this experience that was just wonderful um, was one day I would always get there at lunchtime and watch the little kids run around in the, in the playground, um, kicking soccer balls, playing in the grass. Um, but when I got there, one of the last weeks on the, um, a Wednesday, this girl who I had been tutoring um, was by herself um, standing next to a tree just looking very solemn and I walked up to her and I said what's wrong and she just couldn't respond and started crying and it, it broke my heart to see a six-year-old crying about something that I didn't know it wasn't that you know a normal a normal six-year-old fight or something where one person had kicked a gr the other person or someone had stolen their their snack or something like that. It was something deeper um, that just really, really hurt me. So I asked her, what's wrong? And she said, I haven't seen my dad in months. And when I heard that, I just embraced her even harder. And um, she began to tell me that her dad worked in the prison um, and that she really, really missed her dad. Um, and at that moment, the bell rang, and we walked into class, and I held her hand and said, um, it's okay, uh, there's so many people that love you. Uh, I love you, your mom loves you, um, your teacher loves you, your classmates love you. Um, and at that, I, I think she felt a little bit better, but still was crying, be, continued to cry. Um, and I just felt, after the end of that day, um, I really hoped that she had received my love well. Um, and the last day, the, the last day of the class, when I was um, going to not come back to the class, I made cookies, I brought cookies to the whole class, and um, this little same, the same girl who I would just really tried to love when she um, 
was experiencing this sadness, um, came up to me and said, here, Brendan, um, I made you this card. And on the card was just a drawing um, of hearts with uh, arrows going through them. And um, it said, to Brendan. And she's six years old, and she could barely read and write. And uh, it was just so, so, so touching. And I just said, thank you so much. And it said, I love you on it. Um, and that was just like, wow. Um, I didn't feel like I deserved it, but I think that I really, um, really helped her out.